Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today, we are going to add an additional four solar panels to my existing installation. So these are 400 watts and these are 380 watts, right? Yes, they are half cut panels. 380? 380 watt panels. So will bring me to seven point some odd kilo, kilowatts in solar panels. Uh, the reason we are doing it is when we're running the AC, our batteries do not charge. Um, when we are, well, while we're running the ACs, our batteries do not charge. So as you can see, they are Jinkos. They are Jinko panels. You can see them. Jinko 380 watt half cut panels. Okay, and these are Jinko 400 watt half cut panels. And if you look at the back, you see the difference between the half cut and the standard panels are your. Your positive and negative terminals are in the center because they te technically are two solar panels welded into one um, one panel. Whereas the others are all the cells are connected together and then they meet at the top of the panel. Put it down. Someone take this from me. So one of the things we insist on is safety gear. As you can see, Jesse, our newest tech, is wearing a safety harness. Uh, if you're going to go over 10 feet, it's important to wear a helmet, touch your head, okay? And it's important to wear the harness. What the harness does is, it doesn't stop you from falling, but when you decide to fall, it arrests the fall and hopefully slows you down enough before you, you hope you don't hit the ground, but if you're going to hit the ground, it slows you down. Uh, it's also important to wear proper, sh proper footwear so he has on proper footwear. Yeah. So we need all of you who are going to do installations for the company to be properly dressed. And this is what you have to wear if you're going to go on the roof. Even if you're not going on the roof, you're doing work anywhere that's more than 10 foot, you're required to wear a helmet. So thank you, Jesse. So what we're going to show you now is, um, we already have the rails mounted on the roof of the building. So this here is an L foot. Where's the flash band? This here is an L foot. This is what, this nail here penetrates the roof. We look for the beam or the joist, and that's what goes, um, that's what penetrates the beam or the joist to secure this device, which is the L foot, onto the roof of the building. And then the rails, we have um, aluminum rails that are up to 4.2 meters long. They sit on this, this part. So this is why your panels never sit directly on your roof because you have this L foot that allows you to place your rail and then support it. Uh, something we do, uh, when I first started, I used to use an epoxy, uh, a rubber type epoxy that's made from tar that will spray on, but it's not very easy to find. So we've used, we use flash band, get good quality flash band. We cut it and then when we cut it, we insert the nail through the flash band and then put it into the ground. And this gives us an additional layer of, of protection while seals, an additional seal to make sure we don't get a leak. And on top there's a rubber gasket that also prevents moisture from penetrating your nail and going into the roof. So next we're going to climb on the roof and then you're going to see how the solar panels go on the rails and then um, that'll be it. So here are the rails, and you can see the rail is sitting on the L foot. Okay, and you can see we have, um, well, we used to use heavy duty rubber underneath before. Now we use a uh, flash band. So these were the originals that were done in 2014. These have been up here since 2014, and this is this is flash band. So you're required to. So let me go to one that's already done. I just cleaned these panels a few days ago. Look how dirty they are. So after you put your panels, your panels on here, you use what they, these are meat clamps. The meat clamps secure the panels to one another, and then and so these are the meat clamps. This is a meat clamp. We have different types. So let me show you this type, this style here. This style of meat clamps use it to hold it in place and then when you're done you have an end clamp and the 
and clamp. Uh, so let me show you. Here's the end clamp. This portion goes into the rail. So let me show you. So you see as it goes into the rail. You can see this portion here. This is what goes into the rail. And then when you tighten it, it holds it in place and it doesn't move. So these are our grounding. That's how we grounded them to one another. So it's pretty it's pretty simple, pretty straight, pretty straightforward, not very complicated. Before you come, you've planned your layout as to where you want to put your rails. You do your measurements and then you put your L foot. As you see, these rails were cut in half. So you put your L foot and then your rails, then the panel, your mid clamps, and your end, clamp, end clamps. I hope this was very instructive. So today we're going to add, so we have two there and six here. We'll add two more right here and then we'll add from this group we'll add two more to this place right here so there'll be two panels there'll be two panels sitting right here so we'll go to a total of um let's see 10 plus 9 we'll have 19 panels in total so 8 7 yes 19 to 19 panels in total will give us quite a lot of power because we're struggling right now since we removed the 250 watt panels so here's the end result they come back tomorrow and tidy that cable underneath there we added those two plus those two so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten um, 380 watt panels and now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine four hundred watt panels so if you notice um these panels so i was told these are supposed to be um monos but they don't look like ponos but monos but the person who sold it to me told me they're mono panels uh those are half cuts these are not over there they are half cuts and that is not uh, those, sorry this is half cut and those are not so as you could see um, I have a mix again of panels um, well I now have more capacity I can run a little I can run much longer I can see shading for my moringa so I'm going to have to cut the moringa it's only at this time of the day you get the shading but during all the other times you won't see it so there we go if you like what you see, um, please give me a thumbs up. This is more of a training video for my people and it's also going to serve for the people who um, do solar the right way to get these things done. So the corrections we're making, all those cables that are on, on the roof, they're going to be secured underneath the panels with cable ties so you don't see them like you see them now. They're not supposed to be like that. So these are the corrections they will come back tomorrow and do. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.